Thank you, Chris, and good morning and welcome to all of you here today. And I really want to uh, say thank you to Senator Ash for calling you during the meeting because we solved that it took three minutes after that phone call. Uh, 98 years ago, really, Teddy Roosevelt uh, proposed, first proposed comprehensive health care reform for this country. Well, as you all remember, it did not pass at the time. However, in March 2010, uh, we had uh, a really uh, sweeping health reform legislation that uh, we're still in the process of digesting. The bill is over 2,000 pages. I will summarize it probably in, there are really three main things in this bill. We can be summarized rapidly. The law is designed to accomplish these goals. One is expanding access to affordable health insurance to those without coverage. That's the first goal of this law. The second is improving the affordability and stability of insurance to those who already have it. And third, as you all uh, heard about it, is to controlling rising health care costs. And the benefit to patients are really multiple when you look at this. First of all, uninsured individual, whether low a modest wage worker or unemployed will be able to get and afford the coverage and care they need, and we will talk about this today. Second, young adults and uh, graduating from high school or college will no longer be uninsured and no longer dependent on emergency room for care. Third, workers will no longer lose coverage when changing job. Low-income mothers will be able to afford prenatal care and have healthy newborn. Men and women will have access to preventive care and cancer screening for early detection. And no one will be denied coverage because of health problems and pre-existing condition. The uh, health care reform stimulate the development of medical home, and we ought to discuss that today. It will improve access to community health center. It will stimulate implementation of electronic medical record, and we will have discussion about that also today. It will improve quality of care for rewarding, by rewarding uh, for doctors and hospitals for higher quality and better patient outcome. And in that sense, it will also improve safety for patients. And I think these are the major aspects of health care reform and we will uh, address some of them today. Uh, I want to, to conclude my remark by first by uh, saying that we are quite honored to uh, support the, uh, this symposium, and which is really supported by University of Iowa Health Science Policy Council, which regroup all five health sciences college, and also by the Iowa Health Reform Commission, chaired by David Carlyle, which will address you in a few minutes. I want also to say thank you for the organizer, which is Chris Atchison, uh, Stacy Seifer, Peter Damanio, and uh, Brian Kasky. Again, uh, thank you for being here today, and uh, I think it would be a great day, and I'm looking forward also to interact with you during the break and uh, to uh, have as much question and debate we can have today. Thank you, Chris.